Hey everybody, Peppermill22 back here with another belt review. And uh, this is a, another special belt review. They all are. I don't buy belts I don't want or that are uh, bad, badly made and bad quality. Uh, I, I buy the ones that are special to me and so that's why I'm always saying I got something special for you, which I do. This Christmas, I bought myself a purple strapped WWF logoed oval IC and uh, the thing is amazing. I got it from uh, F Club VK. I've got a couple of belts by them now and they don't let me down. They're not like toys like a WWE shop. They're actual belts made by actual belt makers. And um, um, I've got 12 belts in total and the best ones I have have been made by F Club and Fandu. So um, I just wanted to uh, put out a good word for uh, F Club again. They've done a really good job. I mean, the belt isn't perfect. We're gonna go over it and we're gonna go over the goods and the bads. But overall, uh, for the price uh, and the quality that F Club is putting out, again, I cannot say anything bad against them. So uh, thank you guys for uh, making this come true for me. On Christmas Eve, it showed up at eight o'clock at night. So I was really happy to see that it made it, uh, almost didn't, which is scary, because um, they're always saying it will. It did, but it almost didn't. There's been a lot of uh, storms and there's been a lot of uh, crazy weather around these parts. It's been minus 43 degrees in Calgary for the last two weeks. Two weeks. That's a long time to be that cold. So. Uh, travel was delayed and uh, long story short, the belt made it on time. It's here in my possession. It's here as part of my collection. And um, I can't wait to make a bit of a review here for you guys. Um, I'll take you guys over here as always and uh, we'll do a, an in-depth review on this gorgeous belt that I just received. So, uh, oh, uh, before I forget, if you guys could please uh, press that subscribe button right now, <clears throat> comment, like my videos, it does wonders for the algorithms and it gets other people um, viewing my videos as well. And so I really appreciate it if you guys can do that. Uh, you probably already know also that I have started a new channel, which is called Peppermill Retro. And it's um, a video that covers all of my nostalgic old school toys. I have quite a collection. And I go through each and every one and show you guys the different uh, toys I have. So. Check that channel out, it's at Peppermill Retro. Please like, subscribe, and comment on that channel too. And uh, we'll keep this, this baby going. So let's get into this right now. I'm gonna take you over and we'll take a look at this belt. All right, so here she is. The newest belt in my collection. And it's pretty badass. It is not a bad belt at all. I'm gonna open it up, we'll lay it down. I'll do that right now. Gonna, look at that. All right. All right, people. So, there it is. Look at that. So, we'll start with the leather work. The leather work is, I believe, stamped from a machine. Uh, the quality of leather is not bad it's not great i would say it's borderline good um but it is uh real leather and it is way better 100 percent better than anything you'll get at the wwe shop uh i'll give you some close-ups here of the plates and again like i said uh, the wwf logo here um, there's much to be desired, um, with the paint there. Um, as far as the words go on all of these side plates, they're basically pretty good. Um, I won't complain about any of it. It could be better. And that's what I mean about this type of stuff. I mean, the guy painting this really should take some more time to do it, um, 100% rather than be rushed but i understand you know they probably got a lot of orders and uh it's not that bad it's it's acceptable for my standards and that says a lot because i've been in this game for a long time 
Moving on here to the main plate, you see we've got the three crystals up here, which are cheap crystals. I'm gonna replace those with Swarovski crystals myself. Um, but again, better than anything you're gonna get from WWE shop. So um, take a look at the border here. Um, it's nice. There's not uh, a lot of a lot of uh, negativity that I can talk about around the border. Um, I did not buy the HD version of this, so it kind of is what it is. Uh, the etching is very deep. The etching is very deep. It's got to be three millimeter etching at least here, maybe even four around the or not four, sorry, probably three around here, two, two millimeter etching here. The globe is fantastic. It's very, very deep. And um, yeah, I'm, 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 I love this belt. Uh, a couple minor touch-ups to do with the paint. You can't even really tell on this video, um, but there's just a couple of little places that could have been better. Um, my only real complaint with this belt, and I told him right away, was um, the quality around this champion banner. It's a little bit rough. And again, the paint is rough too. So I'm going to take it upon myself to fill in the blanks here and correctly paint it. There's not much I can do, there's nothing I can do about the finish in between uh, the champion uh, banner. It's not really a banner, it just says champion. But there is much to be desired when it comes to the finish around this portion. From this portion up, I would say it's almost perfect. There's a lot of great stuff going on in this belt. And that's just a reflection of light there. That's not a that's not a paint mistake. We've got the relief plate here, J Mar. That's a nice little addition. Um, I do feel that they could benefit from making uh, the paint in these etches a little bit darker, just a little bit more. Um, I don't know what you would say. A little bit more real. Um, it almost just looks like they quickly went over it where they could make this part look a lot better. But I do like how they do add the uh, Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion JMAR 1998 relief plate. Um, and there's no tip on this belt. There, there wasn't when this version came out. Um, this is basically mirroring the original, the original WWF IC that came out that The Rock held. I believe it was The Rock who only held this belt. If I am mistaken, please educate me in the comments. Um, maybe, maybe Randy Orton held this title and then he was the one to get the new Scratch WWF logo on the black leather. Uh, if anybody knows, please enlighten me. Um, Time is getting away from me and I can't remember every goddamn detail on every belt uh, anymore, but I do try my best. Just give you guys a nice close up here. Go over everything. Really, really great. Take it over to the window, I always do that show you guys Christmas trees coming down today uh, the beginning of a, a new beginning of life for me really uh, going through some uh, tough things right now like a breakup but uh, I'll be back better than ever sooner than later and look at this guy look at that that is a nice nice version of the WWF logoed purple strap oval IC. I haven't seen many of these around uh, that people have bought in or customized. And so I'm super, super happy to be able to make this video on a quality WWF logo purple IC. Rupert is here, he wants to say hello. Hi Rupert, 
Check out his house I bought him. That's his Christmas present. And this is mine. Which I said, again, it showed up on Christmas Eve. I thought I was shit out of luck. And then I wasn't. So here we go. Look at that. She is a beaut. Absolute beauty. I'll sh throw her on the couch here quickly just to show you the backing. So I don't wreck it or scratch it at all on the table. Uh, the backing is uh, their standard backing. It's really tight. It's really nice. No complaints here on the backing. Again, everything could be a little bit better. Um, but considering the price that they're charging for these, this is, you can't get better. So here she is. Final time. Bring her back over to the table. Lay her down. And there you have it, you guys. My newest belt. And I think... It is sexy as hell. So, all right, everybody. There we go again. Another video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, stay, stay tuned for another video from Peppermill 22. Keep your eyes open for Peppermill Retro. We'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, I just wanted to get you guys some close-up shots here from the side because it is very well etched so i just wanted to make sure that i put this in the video how detailed the globes are the writing like i mean look at that eh? like i said the champion it's not too bad but up here it's all really nice it's all really really nice Look at that. See what I mean? It's gorgeous. Very deep etching. Very, very nice. Great finish on the side plates. There you go.